Hello everyone, it's Carl Malone and this is your Thursday laser tip. Um, I have my lovely assistant Ruby here today and um, a lot of folks ask me about working with pets and, and uh, in my laser training videos I've worked with Ruby a little bit. Um, Ruby has had hip dysplasia so she basically has her own laser. Um, she doesn't have thumbs to turn it on for herself but anyway she has her own laser to um, work with her hip dysplasia. And sometime back when Ruby was a puppy, Ruby broke a tooth and she was young and our, we go to a holistic vet and she said, you know, it'd be a good idea to do a root canal since she's so young and she's going to be chewing for a lot of years. So Ruby got a root canal and what happened is her face started to swell up a few days later and I thought, oh no, we're going to lose that tooth and you know, this was a $2,000 root canal or $1,800 and, and still we're going to have to pull the tooth. So at any rate... Um, I went home at lunch and I was doing laser with Ruby during lunchtime and we had taken her back in and she had had some of this material that they fill the root canal with which is called gutta percha and you can kind of see it extruded out of this canal and then we I did some laser and here's what it looked like after but it's really interesting because the vet who who saw Ruby he wrote that in his write-up here, he said, I was concerned that some of the gutta percha had extruded out of the lateral canal and left a large glob outside of the root structure. Much to my surprise, the gutta percha was almost completely reabsorbed by the body, and the area looks to be healing well. There are no problems noted in the functional area. And he was kind of perplexed, so Kimberly told him, I should tell you that my husband does laser therapy and has been doing laser with Ruby. He said, oh, that explains it, because it usually takes weeks, months for that to be cleared up, and this was just a very short time later, it was gone. And he said, wow, I should have him come in and do laser with the, the after surgeries. But at any rate, vets have been using laser for decades, and I don't treat animals in my office, um, but for your personal use, and, the, and I do treat my, or I do offer laser to my dog, and... Um, Sometimes she gets little things going on, scratches, skin problems, um, some of these little lumps that she gets, and her hips get sore whenever we take her out for long walks or hikes. Um, it's awful hard on dogs when they hop in and out of like trucks. They get a little subluxation right here between, below the thoracic um, rib cage and the lumbar. This is a weak point. Whenever they jump out of the truck, the body stops and it crunches right there. So anyway, animals can get sore and using a laser with them for different things, dental and skin conditions. And even when Ruby has maybe a, something we might think she's got some digestive issues, we'll use the laser with it. But at any rate, we really love using laser with Ruby and she really loves it. And um, can you sit up? So if you have any questions or you've had any experience, let us know. And I'd love to hear what you guys may have done with your animals and pets. Horses, horse people love lasers. I've done a lot of work with horses. I'm certified in equine massage, so there was a time when all I did was work on horses with my laser. So at any rate, um, let me know what you think, and I hope you have a really blessed day. Bye for now.